this will show this video i'm hoping to show how as you're building assets it's a little bit slower and harder in the beginning because i'm still just trying to do my second keyframe but i'm trying to set up these new assets in ways that are helpful later on so i'm trying to to get all the settings all the colors and everything right so that when i make duplicates for later layers it all makes sense let's see so i'm just going to take the op opacity down a little bit on the highlight and then on the shading Maybe take its size down a little. Yeah, so now that ear is feeling a little bit more believable. Yeah, I get a little top ridge there. Very subtle. So I have a slight seam but I can live with that. Now the ear is built of these two layers, so I can put those into a group, or I can just select both of them and transform them together with Command T. And I can kind of build this backwards, like think wh where's the final ear gonna be? for the cat, and maybe it's about there. And so then I'll make a duplicate of both of those layers while they're both selected, Command J, Command T to transform, flip horizontal, doing pretty symmetrical design here though with the mouth. I have to remind myself it doesn't need to be perfect symmetry. I wanna have some, some play in it. And with that in mind, I might just tilt this ear slightly differently than the other ear. Okay, next, I'm going to take all those ears. These are my cat ears and merge them into a group or put them into a group, not merge. And call that my, my cat. Now, to have those ears just suddenly appear from this, all of a sudden in my second keyframe to this, seems way too much, right? So this was building it, and now I can kind of take it back a little bit. So I'm going to make a duplicate of it. And then I'm going to transform and shrink them. Bring them in a little, like that, and then eventually they'll they'll be out to the edges. So we go from this to this. So this is my second keyframe. I hold. I go to the top most visible layer. I hold down Option. I say layer merge visible while holding down option. I then hit command A to select all. I hit command C to copy. I go to my stage and I hit command V to paste. And the eyes are starting to move towards the center but white is starting to grow from the eyes. The mouth moves down a little bit, the nose moves, the nose starts to appear, and we have our second keyframe. Now this is gonna be moving pretty fast, but that's why I did a storyboard. This transformation of the cat happens pretty fast. And I'm just trying to get the basic keyframes, and then I can start working between them 
with what are called in-betweens if I think the transitions need to be slowed down. But let's get the, the, the major movements taken care of first, so the big keyframes. Then I can save that, I can go back to my assets, I first deselect and then delete that merged layer. And now I can duplicate the nose. I can up its opacity, maybe like 75%, something close to that. I can increase its size a little. The mouth, I can duplicate it, turn off the one behind it and start giving it a little bit more of, a, of an open expression. Like so. And I like a little bit of asymmetry in there. The eyes, I'm going to start with the whites of the eyes. And I already have eyeball whites three. And then I also have eyes three. <laughs> Why does that look so weird? Because I turned off the wrong layer. Okay. And now the ears, I already have the full ears. You can see why it's so hap it's so uh, handy to be able to find these layers. Now, I don't think I want to go to the full ears quite yet. So I'm going to try to find something in between the two by duplicating again. And then holding down Shift and Option so I can really kind of control how these grow out. So I want to find kind of an in-between of those two stages of ear growth. Oops. There we go. And I want that stage for right now. So I was here, now here, <laughs> this is definitely one of those awkward growing phases, right? Now this is starting to look a little bit more like something in my third keyframe. How do I save it? I go up to my top, I hold down Option, Layer, Merge Visible. Command C, go to the stage, Command V, and now I have my next frame. And I have enough to see how my first three keyframes animate, but I'm going to add one more because I don't think that that's fully cat enough for me quite yet, even based on my, my original, like the one I'm trying to get to at the very end. It's got the whiskers, right? So what about the whiskers? How could I forget the whiskers? So that's why it's good to kind of think it through as you go. Okay, now I'm going to hit Command D to deselect. Then I'm going to delete this layer. And I'm going to do the same thing I did last time with the nose. I'm going to duplicate it. I'm going to hit Command-T. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. I think that's its full size. And I'm going to bring it to full um, opacity. With the ears, I already know what the next ears are.
So the mouth, duplicate it, turn off the one underneath, Let's warp it some more. cat's going to be happy to be a cat. So a nice happy expression here. And then the eyes. Get to duplicate these eye, these eye groups again. Let's see. I'm going to do something a little weird. I'm going to transform and then I'm going to flip them vertically. Oh God, that looks so much better. I should have done that in the first place. And it's a subtle shift, but it just really, really changes the expression from really awkward to more believable. And then I'm just going to shrink the, uh, the whites of the eyes a little bit. So duplicate those whites, or expand them rather, not shrink them. Hold down Shift and Option, so I can grow them a little bit, because I need those whites of the eyes for when the head explodes. Talking about it so casually. So now the ears have stopped growing already. So now that the ears are done, so the ears match this one. Oh, no, the ears don't. Sorry. This is the final stage of the ears. I do want to introduce the whiskers, but it's not like they can just appear. So I need to duplicate the whiskers, and I need to, let's see, what's the easiest way to do this? I'm just going to do it really basic, kind of shrink them in and then take their opacity down, kind of like what I did with the nose. So they just start to appear. From this to this. And now we're closer to what my third frame is with the cat. Now I can keep adjusting the cat, setting it up for its mind blown. I can always do more than three frames to tell the story, but I need at least those three frames, those key frames. Okay, so next, hold down Option, Layer Merge Visible, Select All, Copy, go to my stage, paste it in, hit Command S to save it, and then hit Command-D to deselect, and then delete that layer, and then save this work, Command-S. Okay, now at the end of this video, I've gotten through my beginning storyboard. And once you've gotten through your beginning keyframes, whether you think they were successful or not, it's time to run an animation test. Always save before you run an animation test, because there's always a chance that it can get screwed up. So I've saved it. So now I go to Window. This is new. In Photoshop, you have a window that is called Timeline. Go ahead and once you're on your stage, turn on the Timeline window. When the Timeline window opens up, it will ask you if you want to create a video timeline. We do not want to create a video timeline. That edits it like iMovie with time signatures. We want to use the drop down menu and create a frame by frame animation. All right. And then we just hit return or click on it. Now we have to go to the timeline window options, which are always in the upper right hand corner of a window. And we're going to say make frames from layers. Remember, do this on your stage. Don't ever do this on your assets or you will have a mess because you have tons of layers in your assets. So make frames from layers. What it does is all the timeline tool does is program the eyeballs. So it takes your layers and makes them into frames. And that's all.